Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Today is the 22nd of September, of December. The, uh, my mother's birthday, actually. Um, and I'm glad I just thought of that because I have something really cool to show you. And I'm glad I kept communication open about this situation. But you remember my girl, Snowball? If you don't, she was a sow that wound up getting pretty beat up by the other girls that were in that cage, in that pen. And uh, we never really knew why she was getting beat up, but I had to put a strap around her and lift her out with the tractor. And she wound up over in here. You know, for a while she was lame. Uh, she couldn't operate her rear end at all. She was just pulling herself around on her with her front legs and she was a real sad girl and we thought for a little while there we were going to have to put her down. Well, she's been separated in here with the calves and the calves are no longer in here. Um, she's been over here for oh, a couple of weeks and now I've moved the calves out. I think I got to get a better position here to show you what has happened here. I'm just going by She's got feed here, so I look in to see if she's okay, but that's about it. And as I was driving by, I, I saw a little ear and a snowball. What have you done? So I come over closer. I'm not going to push my luck with her, even though that we're, we're buds now. She's got brand new babies here. She's got seven of them. Okay, I'm touching her, and she's kind of used to it, but still, when she's got babies, she's going to be a little bit... Now, she's got seven of them, and she's a first-time mom, and so I'm really happy with that. Now, look at this, this Porta Hut, how she's done this. She's made this all herself. The only problem I have here is that it's clocked improperly. Um, it should be... Uh, there should be a, a windbreak here. But from the looks of these guys, they probably came last night. And they're blondes. This guy right here is kind of coming over close to me. But I'm going to help her out a little bit. I'm going to uh, get in here with the front end loader. And I'm going to pile up some snow right here where I'm at to give her a little windbreak. But to the touch she's just as warm as she can be it is kind of a warm day it's probably I don't know it's it feels like it's above freezing but what a great way for things to go I mean at one point I thought I was gonna have to put her down she didn't show that she was with pig too well um, but I'm so glad that I didn't because these guys are in great shape. There's seven of them. And I'm very, very happy with that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of the way it goes with, with pigging. I have another girl that I saw that she was getting ready to go, so I brought her in the barn. Um, she only had one survivor. And uh, when I went in there, the other little pigs had gotten in and they had sucked her dry, so I don't know if she's got enough milk to even make it happen. I might take her and bring her over here with Snowball. But Snowball, because of her injury, she was, she became, you know, fairly friendly. You know, we could touch her and things like that, so. I'm going to put a tag in her ear and she's going to be here for a while. Um, when I have a pig that has her first litter big like that, and they're all here. Um, she's not having any trouble with them. I'm really, really happy with that. So, I got a, I got a little work to do here. I'm going to uh, close her in so she's not having to deal with the wind going through here. It's like a little wind tunnel. So, okay. Anyone can farm.